hey, hey, hope you're doing amazing. We got our five minute app routine. I've got Emmett here to hang out with me. So we're gonna start with a plank and you're gonna do it from straight arms. So coming into a straight arm plank, bracing, bracing, bracing your core, and then you're gonna tap your alternating shoulder, okay? So the goal here is that your hips stay totally squared off. So we're not like moving and moving. The goal here is that you're bracing your core so tight that basically you can't move your hips because you're bracing your core. I like to imagine <coughs> like if I coughed and held, that's what would happen. <coughs> My abs pull in when I cough, watch. <coughs> that's an exaggeration. So just going for those to shoulder taps, let's go. Come on, brace your core. You got this. Yeah, good work Emmett. Emmett's working on his core control as well. Shoulder taps, you got this, come on. You can always do these from the knees as well and just really work on that core bracing. Always honoring your body. Come on, we got four more. Three, brace it. Two, one. All right, we're gonna do a side, a jackknife. So you're gonna bring your bottom arm just kind of across your hips. You're gonna reach and you're gonna crunch in. Okay, so this is a combination of obliques and you're also gonna want, you're probably gonna feel your glutes by the end. So try to think about crunching up, hand on the head, crunching up. My hand is not just here, it just, just to get it out of the way. Also kind of covers me up here. This is not my most flattering pose when I crunch, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because we're working on our bodies, we're loving on our bodies. Every single day getting a little bit stronger. Oh yeah, let's do four more. Really feel those obliques coming in. Three more, two more. How am I doing, Emmett? One. Oh yeah, he's cheering for us. Let's switch sides. Side, lying, putting your hand across your side, hand on the other hand is at your head. You're crunching to the side. And squeeze your bum as well, but most of the focus should be in your obliques. So you're lifting up. You got it, lift your leg as high as you can. Good job, Emmett. He's learning how to crawl. Woo, feel it. You got this. Oh, yes. Keep going. Feel your bum engage, feel your core engage. Even brace your core, even though you're on your side, working those obliques, you're still working the front. I like that loud exhale idea. Imagine like you're exhaling through pursed lips. Let's do one more. Beautiful. All right, back into that front plank shoulder tap. I'm gonna face you this time with little Emmy. All right, so we got our shoulder taps. Bracing that core, if you want a little bit less challenging, make your feet wider because it'll make your base of support even more wide. If you want, if you want harder, feet right together is kind of the most intense variation. You got it, pick what works for you. Remember if it challenges you, that's when you start to see a change in your physique and your body. Woo, got it, core tight. This is a challenging one for me for sure. I like to have my feet a little wider so that I can really keep that flat back. I always say, Imagine like you have a bowl of soup on your back or a hot coffee and you really don't want it to spill. You got it, you got it. Let's do four more together. Woo, four, as little movement in the hips as possible. Three, two, and one. All right, we got our side plank jackknives again. Come here, Emmy. All right, laying on your side, hand across, hand at the head, elbow to knee, let's do it. Exhale. Happy, happy boy. You got it. Remember using that loud exhale. Pulling that core. Oh yeah. I'm just excited for us. Beautiful. I love the idea of, you know, instead of work trying to find these quick fix solutions that never work long term, just do more of what already you know works. And so we know that working our core works. We know that exercising works. And so let's just keep doing more of it. I love these five minute abs because it's adding a little bit of volume, a little bit of intensity to my routine. And so I'm starting to see more change in my body because I'm adding five minutes of abs each day. So that's the whole idea. Just do more of what already works. You know, you don't need to look for like a secret. There's no secret potion. There's no, you know, secret workout that's the ultimate workout necessarily. It's just doing more of what works, which is quality movement. I really do find the more you can stay connected with your body, the faster you'll see results. So 
when I'm doing this exercise, I'm thinking about my obliques. I'm thinking about my butt. You know, I'm very mindful, and that's what I want you to do. I'm imagining getting punched in the stomach. I'm bracing my core. Let's go. Come on, four more. Three more. Two more. And one. Beautiful. 